Hey, what's up? This is Joshua Castro. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This one's on shrinking your file size for either your backup or if you're done with the track and you want to store it somewhere and you just don't want the useless files and the useless uh, hard drive space uh, and you want to shrink that bad boy. So this is the best way to do it that I've found. Um, if you can look here, the file size right now is 748 megabytes, which is pretty big and we'll see how, how small we can get this. So um, the track is here, it's, it's done. So I want to start looking about unused files or files outside of the project. So I can do that by coming over here and sliding open the file manager or you can go to view file manager here. But I'm already looking at it, so I'm going to go to manage project. And I'm going to start looking. There are no missing files, which is good. Usually there'll be this will highlight and say you've got missing files, which means the file won't play because Ableton doesn't know where the files are. But it does have an external file, which means there is a file outside of the project file that is being used inside of this project. And if I don't have it, uh, it the project won't play the right way. So I want to collect into project, yes, and then collect and save. Uh, that's the same as coming to file, collect all and save, but this is just saying it hasn't been done yet, so do you want to do it? I click yes, or I could see which file it is, and it's called the needle drop wave, which is just a sample of a needle dropping, and uh, I do want that, so I hit yes and hit collect and save. It'll say it's doing it, it's been saved correctly, and then I'm going to manage project one more time. Okay, so missing files. No. External files, there are all the files are contained within it. That's good. Unused files. There are 24 files, 436 megabytes in this project. So I've got a recording that I made that's 11 megabytes. So I'll look at it and you can preview it. And uh, I don't need that. I've already, that's essentially just a mix down and I already have it. So um, I can erase it. So I click on it and delete and move it to the trash. The next one is 13 freeze samples, 419 megabytes that I'm not using. So I've frozen it, then I deleted it, and then I refroze again. So I don't need those because they're not the final product that I might want to share with the remixer or anybody. So just select all of them, delete to move them to the trash. Takes a second to, to do that. And then if we look here, we got four consolidated samples, which is the same as freezing, but it's just a different method. Um, and I don't need those, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there are three other files, show those, and there are just some drums and stuff like that, so I'm going to get rid of those as well. And now that those are gone, I'm going to click this button to go back and then hit Manage Project again, just to make sure that the file manager tells me there are no unused files everything is inside of it and now I'm gonna go ahead and create a live pack and what this does is uses excellent compression uh, there's a link here uh, that I've done a video on this before but um, this uses great compression to, to reduce the file size so I'm gonna hit create live pack right on the desktop I'm just gonna call it looking it's fine and it's gonna go ahead and take all the files and essentially collecting all and saving and compressing on top of that so the file size should be as small as it can get without losing all audio quality okay so now that that's done it gives me this little box saying it was successfully created I hit OK I can minimize this and let's see how big it is now 82 megabytes this entire track mixed down ready to go and it's all the audio I had in there there were two different projects everything is inside of there now that I need to continue to work on that later or just to have that as a backup and I went from 700 and something megabytes to 83 that's a huge difference now I can upload that to my cloud and have it there safely for if I ever need it in the future anyway I hope that information helps you guys and uh, we'll see you next time